Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we're looking at my finished War Mammoth. But before we do that, roll those credits. Now, you've seen on previous videos, um, this was done in partnership with Iono. They provided the filament, um, and we did a follow-up video on that where we showed you the completed model. Well, this is now the completed model painted. Um, there's a few things I've done on this that I've not done before, um, and I actually really love. So, first of all, painting this emptied a lot of brown. I've got significantly less bottles of brand than I had before I started this. That being said, there's a few things I did on this that I've not tried before. First of all was the base. You'll see on the close-up, they had snow on it. Um, this is the Green Stuff Weld artificial snow. Um, and I actually really love this because I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it actually glints and glistens and twinkles like snow really good what i decided to do for the middle of the base was i thought i'm gonna do um like a frozen lake so i first of all marked around the area i wanted the lake to be and i actually used silly putty um i then poured resin into it let it settle overnight let it cure the next day i airbrushed it with like the pale blue colour. Um, I then did a second pour on top of that. Now the next day, once that had dried, I then used a Dremel and I put some cracks all in the ice. I then painted and airbrushed all them cracks. Airbrushed around the edge of the lake with some white. Um, and I actually really liked the way that came out. Obviously before I did all the snow, I painted the base, just the rocks, painted all the rocks the rest of the base I just painted white with some cheap paint just whited the whole thing out because that way any parts where the snow is a bit thinner or there's not quite snow it's white anyway you'll never tell on top of that what I also used was the green stuff weld liquid frost um, now I found some good and some bad points about this I've had it a while and I've been waiting for the the right project to use it on. Um, you can paint it on or you can airbrush it on. Obviously due to the size, I airbrushed it. Um, it works and it works well, depending on where you use it. So I'll put some on the lake and during the close up you'll have seen, there's some like crystals growing out the lake. If you put that on a flat surface, crystals just grow like mad they just grow upwards really good when you put them on vertical surfaces it tends to run because it runs and it's a lot thinner you get much smaller frosting so i went over this probably four or five times and you'll see there is ice growing on all of it on all the points and stuff like that so it works it works well but to get the bigger crystals 
it's better on a flat surface. Um, now the armor, the armor, what I did was I, um, I basically just coated all the armor in a steel color. I then went over it with um, rust effects, it's three different paints I use. Um, you'll have seen it on my war rig I did, same technique, I apply it with a sponge. So I rusted it all up and then after that I then dry brushed over like a very dark still, much darker than the original one I put on. Dry brushed that over a lot of it and then I put a wash over it. Um, and what it did is it just muddied it up and aged it. So it looks it looked more natural rather than shiny new steel, but with rust on it. So that aged it well. Um, the rest of the paint, the, the mammoth, that was all based in one brown and then it was three or four layers of different different brands and beiges and that and orange I think I used as well. Airbrushed over the top also gave it a wash um a dark wash as well to get into the crevices um but yeah this um i really like this model i really like the way it's come out um the only problem i've got is it's too wide to go on a single one of my shelves doesn't fit doesn't fit on any of them so yeah i don't know where this is gonna go Maybe here, maybe just stay here, because it doesn't fit in my ass. It doesn't fit in my ass either. I think it's just going to stay here. It doesn't, it doesn't fit. I think it's just going to stay here. It doesn't fit there. It does, it fits there it perfect. Doesn't. Look at no, it. It's on a little platform, it doesn't fit there. It fits perfect. No, no, it doesn't fit there. So, yeah, this is probably staying in there forever, because I've got nowhere to put it. So, yeah. Right, anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um... Go on to uh, Iono's Facebook group, have a look. There's people putting different projects up there using their filament. Um, they gave us some filament to give away recently during our live stream for two, uh, two and a half thousand subscribers. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Got plenty more videos coming out. So we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.